I want to show you two different Instagram influencers that I've used for shout outs that have made me money. What's going on everyone, Hayden here coming back at you with a brand new video and in this one we're going to be talking about actually a couple different influencers specifically that I've used, disclaimer I don't use them anymore, I'm not in these niches, but they've made me money and I want to break down kind of why I picked them, what kind of offer I was running, what the results were and kind of my thought process behind it. This is definitely something I think will help you guys out because it gives you a sense of what I'm looking for in kind of a real life example because I've actually done this. So before we do that, if you guys do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like down below and if you haven't already, be sure to join the family by hitting that nice link subscribe button and let's jump inside of my computer. Okay, you guys, first thing I want to talk about is how I found these influencers. And if you understand and you've watched the content on the channel, you know how I do things. I do it all on Instagram itself. I don't feel the need to leave the platform because obviously it's an Instagram influencer shout out. So it's on Instagram. So there's got to be a way to find the page, right? If you guys can go back and watch the videos I've made on finding influencers, but I'm just searching different keywords and looking at both pages and the hashtags and really just running through all those, um, clicking the different hashtags, looking under the suggested, and just trying to filter out and find a couple pages that work. From there, I'm going to test it. Um, we'll talk about why I decided to test these, but let me show you the two pages real quick. Um, they're in two different niches for two completely different stores, different products. Um, neither of these influencers I use anymore, okay? Um, and I'll even tell you what one of the products was. This first one, Instadog, 1.1 million. I think I paid around 100 bucks for this shout out, which wasn't that bad, um, maybe 75. The reason I picked this, and I really like influencers like this, where it's a mix between photos and videos, and the videos do really well. You see 50,000, 89, 50, and comparing that to the likes, it's getting at least double. See, look, double the amount of views. That means it's starting to hit the explore page, so it's doing well, it has a lot of natural organic reach if you will um, and if you actually click on it look 338 comments on a picture 279 on a video 180 look at us 632 so it has a lot of organic engagement and that's a good thing and you definitely do want to go through and look at the comments to see what type of comments obviously make sure it's not engagement groups but there's no way there's gonna be 600 comments 400 comments that are engagement groups so it has a lot of organic reach um, Again, this specific shout out, I kind of remember this one. It was all three, which means a post, a link in bio, and a story post. It did pretty well. I think it brought me, if I remember correctly, it was like 270 in sales. I was spending like 75 to 100 bucks. Um, so after product cost, I would say I about doubled my money. Probably put about 130 to 140 in, made about double that back. So this influencer, um, the dog niche specifically, I think it's starting to get, and again, I don't ever like using the word saturated the influencers on Instagram. The niche overall, you can make stupid money, just like pretty much anything. But influencers on Instagram are a little bit overused and they've kind of killed themselves, if that makes sense. So that's kind of my opinion on these. There's still money to be made if you do it right and have the right product. Um, and I, I did not do a video ad, by the way, for those of you wondering, I should. I, if I still had the store, I'd go back and do a video ad on this page. Uh, but it did pretty well. So that's one page that worked. The product was a dog toy, for those of you wondering. Um, and I believe I've also tested multiple, I don't know if it was on this page, but in the dog niche, uh, stuff like dog necklaces, different types of products that relate. Because in a niche like this where it's pets, there's two different routes you can go. Products for the pet or products that relate to pet, pets that are for the owner. So it's like, you know, do they want to be selfish and get the product or get it for, you know, the pet, whatever it is. So that's kind of how it's structured. Now, let's jump over to the second page I picked here. This is a meme page. This page used to do a lot better and get a lot more reach. Um, but it has a lot, a lot of comments. And that's kind of the whole thing with, you know, memes. They can really hit well, get on the explore page and go viral, um, as well as being reposted. And these videos do extremely well as well. So that's kind of one of my thought processes behind it is I really like the videos that do what, look at that, a quarter million versus 30K. So these are really hitting the explore page. You go back to videos, 250, exactly. And it's doing super well, 270. Yeah, and it has obviously a lot of comments. So again, go through, look at the comments. This one has a little bit more followers than it should for the amount of likes on a regular post, but it still does extremely well. Um, I'm not gonna say the product on this page because I still use it, but I, I haven't used this page since that shout out. This one made me about 50 bucks. Um, I think if I remember correctly, I paid like two to 300, maybe 250 uh, for this page, which was not bad. I actually know the influencer and it made me a little bit above break even. I think it was just the product um, on this page didn't resonate that well, but it was worth testing out. So my main focus, this, this video, I guess, kind of relates to finding influencers or whatever. I'm looking for a mix between video and picture content, having the videos that do extremely well, because you know, organic reach, hitting the explore page, that's gonna mean that your post is gonna have, I don't wanna say a higher chance of going viral, but overall, no matter what, more people are gonna see it. 
So if we jump back over to this document, there's obviously pros and cons on all these pages, okay? Cons on the dog page, a lot of people are starting to do this stuff on the dog pages, but they, they really, I've seen this, I still watch these pages, they really suck at shout outs and it looks extremely bad, which kills the page. On top of that, in the dog niche, there's not really even that many influencers that are, you know, good, do well. Uh, I think there's probably like 10, maybe 15 pages that are, you know, at least worth testing out. Um, and then the pros, obviously, for this one, they got a lot of reach. Their videos still, you know, get good engagement. They hit the explore page a little bit, you know, comments. So it does okay. You have the potential if it's a good offer. You know, good offer, you got to hit it at the right time with the right ad, you know, video picture, and you have to get it on the explore page. Whereas this page over here, it does well because naturally people have their eyes on this content. This is the type of stuff that encompasses social media, the classic meme. You know, everybody's always watching this stuff and looking at it. So gets a lot of eyeballs. That's the thing, but it's not necessarily niche specific. So that's kind of with that overall niche of meme pages. Yeah, you can make money with certain products, but you have to test to figure out what product will actually do well. Because unlike the dog niche, you can't have a meme store. I don't know, I guess you could, but like, you know, what product really relates to that. So you have to kind of figure that out. And in my opinion, a meme page is a little bit more risky, but when it works, it works. It can work really, really well. So, I mean, you could spend $300 and make 2000 back. I've seen that happen. That's happened to me, roughly. And so it's, it's really interesting to see that. Um, these pages did well. You know, they did okay. The meme one could have done a little better. Again, I think that was just my offer. Um, but the, the offer, just so that you guys know, like I, I want to explain because I said it didn't work too well. I was not doing a free plus shipping on the dog page, which is actually something that, you know, I obviously advise. If you're doing something on Instagram, it should be free plus shipping if you have the margin. However, however, you need to test between the two. I think I mentioned this in a video yesterday or the day before. Test between the two. If something works for a free plus shipping, which in this case the offer did on a different page, I went onto this page and I tried it where it was instead of, you know, free product, $10 shipping, I flipped it. $10 product, free shipping. So still worked pretty well. Um, that's why we test, you know, we want to see and then from there, you know, I'll raise the price to 12, 15 and see at what point people start to drop off and not buy it anymore. Uh, for the meme page, it was a free plus shipping. My product cost is like two bucks selling it for nine ninety nine shipping. And you know, again, it did decent, nothing crazy. Um, and again, I can't tell you that product cause I still do it, but that's basically the two pages. I wanted to dive in just so you get a better sense of kind of what I'm looking for. It's nothing complicated. I think a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, let me scroll through my phone, try to figure all this out. You know, where do you look for it? Is there a software? No, it just comes down to research and then testing. I identified these pages that I thought would work well. They look good. It's a calculated risk. I understood the offer. The products had worked on other pages, smaller pages, because obviously both of those were over a million followers. And so once you're at that point where it's starting to work on smaller pages, right, you're making some money, you can test different offers, test other pages, test bigger pages to bring back a bigger return. But those were two pages. I hope that that brought you guys some value, kind of gave you a sense of what I look for and kind of how I structured things. If you want to see more content on Instagram specifically, be sure to drop it in the comments down below and let me know what you want to see. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And if you haven't already, you already know, be sure to join the family behind that nice link and subscribe button. I appreciate you all showing love and support on every single video and I'll be back tomorrow with the next one. Peace.